Howdy folks, Jay Boone down here for my pick of the day. I'm at Emerald City Guitars in downtown Seattle and we're locked in the shop here trying to have some fun during the uh, pandemic outbreak and we're going to continue to bring you our pick of the day as long as we can. So thought I'd do something fun and interesting today. Have here a very historical piece that came out of Seattle. So it's an audio vox lap steel. And before I go any farther, there's, there's a whole story with this thing where the grandkid of the original owner of this thing brought it in and told me the story about his grandpa playing Western swing locally, doing honky tonks. And there's a story that one night he was on stage, someone brandished a gun and fired the gun and the bullet went through the top of the amp, down through the side, into the case which was lying next to the amp and just went in and grazed the body of the lap steel right here. You can see just a little chunk of wood out. Love that story. And that had to be somewhere in the mid to late 30s because this instrument is from the mid 30s. So a little bit of history on this. A guy named Paul Tutmark is a Seattle guy that is one of the pioneers of patents on pickups and for pioneering the electric guitar as we know it today. There's tons of history on Paul and his whole story and all the people that were affiliated with him up here in the Northwest during that time that you can dig into. I'm not gonna dig too far into the history of it, but this is a mid thirties, seven string lap steel. And it's, like I said before, I got it from the grandson of the original owner. The matching audio box amp is included. That's got a 10 inch speaker in it with a big Alnico magnet, powerful little amp. So this lap steel has a twin coil, huge magnetic pickup in here. It's like a horseshoe. And it's actually a really, really early humbucker pickup. Very powerful, great sound in lap steel. You can see the walnut body on this thing. It's beautiful. This thing's in great shape too. Original case, matching amp, beautiful piece. I love the mirror pit guard. This was actually pretty futuristic for the mid 30s. One volume control. And if you look closely, you can see that this could also have been an eight string. So my guess is he put out several of these and brought them out as eight strings and then adapted them to whatever they wanted, a six, eight, or a seven. This is a seven string. It has a seven string bridge, seven string nut, but it has an eighth tuner on there that isn't even being used. As you can see, the cord is attached to the body. That was before they started putting quarter inch jacks in here. A little later, you saw the screw on ones before they actually did go to that quarter inch jack on the instrument itself. But just a really cool and historical piece, and it's a complete package. As you can see, the amp matches the case. Although this took a bullet, still intact. A little tiny crack on that binding right there that's been repaired. But this thing is a, it's a rock and roll machine, man from the mid thirties and right out of Seattle up here. Now I'm gonna plug this in today and I am not a steel player. I'm just gonna make some sounds for you to show you that this thing works and kind of give you an idea what it sounds like. I've just tuned it to an open E so it'll be very simple for me to make it sound halfway okay. So I'm gonna plug it in, let you hear it and we'll go from there.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, a mid-30s AudioVox seven-string lap steel with a matching amplifier and case, and got this from the original owner's grandson. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.